Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our Le Chatelier's principle and iron thiocyanate equilibrium experiment. Le Chatelier's principle helps us predict the direction a reaction will shift when an external stress is applied. We will study responses in the equilibrium of iron thiocyanate to various stressors, and we will explain these results using Le Chatelier's principle. Let's get started. We're going to start by making our stock solution in a 600 milliliter beaker. We'll first add 250 milliliters of deionized water. Next, we'll add one milliliter of one molar potassium thiocyanate. And then we'll add one milliliter of iron three nitrate. And we'll stir our solution to mix. And this stock solution has an intense red color due to the formation of the iron thiocyanate complex. We're then going to transfer 10 milliliters of our stock solution into nine numbered test tubes. We've now added 10 milliliters of our stock solution to nine numbered test tubes. Test tube one is going to serve as our control test tube and no reagent will be added to this tube. We'll add these reagents to test tubes two through eight and test tube nine we will heat. We'll compare the color intensity of test tubes two through nine with the control test tube, test tube number one. You'll need to record observations in terms of Le Chatelier's principle. The darkest test tube will have the highest concentration of iron thiocyanate complex. We'll start by adding two milliliters of our one molar iron three nitrate to test tube number two. We'll next add one milliliter of one molar potassium thiocyanate to test tube number three. We'll next add 10 drops of 0 0.1 molar silver nitrate to test tube number four. We'll now add two milliliters of 12 molar hydrochloric acid or concentrated hydrochloric acid to test tube number five. We'll now add one milliliter of trisodium phosphate to test tube number six.
We'll next add one milliliter of 0 0.1 molar sodium oxalate to test tube number seven. We'll now add a few crystals of solid sodium fluoride to test tube number eight. We now need to heat test tube number nine in a hot water bath. We've now heated test tube number nine in a hot water bath. Make sure you record your observations in terms of Le Chatelier's principle. Okay, students, you'll now need to determine the net ionic equation for each reaction and explain your observations in iron thiocyanate equilibrium. This concludes our Le Chatelier's principle in iron thiocyanate equilibrium experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.